of his young career at quarterback. Pressure up the middle. He gets it out quickly. He does so to Boutte. Kayshawn Boutte, one of the best receivers in all of college football, starts the game like that. Absolutely explosive. Two. Johnson looks right, gets it out there in space to Thomas. And the freshman with something extra. It's another first down for LSU. Second and 11 after the timeout. Johnson with a quick start. And Boutte works his way inside the 10-yard line for a first and goal LSU. Oh, bad snap mishandled. The ball's going backwards. And he dives on it. And it bobbles it and then secures it. But from first and goal to now the ball all the way back at the 30-yard line. Johnson going to go to the end zone, and Boutte! How about that? Solves all problems, doesn't he? Kayshawn Boutte, 31-yard touchdown catch. Flanks him to the left. Two tights in, 32. Nicks trying to beat out a man, and flips it forward to Fromm. Right at the last second, he said, I don't like my chances. Let me pull something off. A little ad-lib from Bo Nix. Go, go out, and work hard to get into spots like this and take advantage. Nix. Does he have a little more magic here on first down? Dodge two LSU defenders and then just dives ahead. Four-man rush against Nix. And that ball, was that intercepted? Float broke on it. What a play by Cordell Float. As they are saying, it's incomplete, but he broke on that ball. I don't. This is one where you look and you say, Bo Nix, where are you throwing it? But look at where his wide receiver's going. Kobe Hudson's actually coming straight back down the stem. Bo Nix is thinking he's going to come straight back to him. That's Carlson from 51. Bad contact. Sidewinder. Goes off to the right. That is rare for him. Max Johnson pulls it in a quick strike to one of the best in the biz. Kayshawn Boutte. The offense in control. Fourth and one. Ty Davis Price is the running back. And all the contact as Tony Fair came across into the neutral zone. Offside. On the defense, number 90. That penalty results in a first down. Oh, that's a killer for Auburn, too, because LSU is a team that has been well documented. They struggle running the football. Max Johnson has hit five different receivers. Johnson, pressure right in his face, and he is taken down and taken down hard that time. That was Hall and Wooden. Make it 13 straight for Cade York, and that gives LSU a 10 zip lead. Fourth and six. Finley in his return, incomplete. Turnover on downs. Added the 31 yard touchdown catch after that. Max Johnson. As he gets a complete to Jenkins, and Jenkins darts ahead past midfield for a chain mover of 12 yards. For Robertson, they came up short on that night. Third and 15, Johnson drives it, pinpoint accuracy, and Jack Best turns on the heat. And then the snapper, Atkins, the holder. They love this operation. New York. We'll add to it. It's whoever makes the best decisions is most accurate with the football. Second and three. Quick strike to the outside, and Jackson will have the first down. Second and ten. Knicks with time. Gets it complete. Has a first down, and Shanker secures it this time. He wrapped those big paws around and said, I'm not doing that again. Second and three. Robertson in motion. Knicks. And well-designed play to get it to Robertson. A little misdirection with Hunter. And then Nix sprints to the left and makes a quick strike. First down. Nix. 
Trying to make magic. Still on his feet and then chucks it to the end zone for a touchdown to Tyler Fromm. Somehow, some way, it was the right way for Bo Nix. How about this from Bo Nix rolling to his right, trying to get one quickly into the flat, but he keeps it alive. Makes a couple guys miss, buys time, allows his wide receivers to uncover, and throws a strike for the touchdown. Barely on your own goal line. From his own end zone, gets protection out of the backfield. Shivers makes a man miss and gets more out to the 24 and an Auburn first down. Over and over again. Second and two. Another completion to Shanker. And listen, Finley comes into the game. Rolling the dice here at Tiger Stadium. Knicks, is he going to do it again? Swirling, scrambling, searching, and finding. He goes to Robertson. Oh, there's magic in Bo Nix on these fourth downs tonight, isn't there, Craig? Unbelievable job yet again. Much better contact and rotation this time as he puts it through. So well managed and sprinkling in a little bit of magic from Bo Nix. And we've got ourselves a three-point game and one-dimensional. And Auburn onside kick to start the second half as it goes out of bounds. So a little trickery from Brian Harson's defensive line. So we're going to go to Butte right away. They did, and it worked. And here they go to Besh, and Besh on second and two will have five yards and a first down. Off the failed onside kick to start the second half. Johnson with time, and right at that line to gain is Butte. Third and two. Johnson's going to tuck and run, and Johnson will have the first down. He takes a big hit out of bounds right at the end of the play. That was Romello Height. That made 14 straight. Trying to give LSU a six-point lead. Make it 15 straight field goals made for Cade York. Survived that, and then does this downfield. Shanker with the big play again from Bo Nix. I mean, Ali Gay had him every which way, and Bo Nix escapes it. Man, just great movement in the pocket. I mean, Ali Gay coming over the top. Bo Nix escapes to his right and finds Shanker downfield. Just a thing of beauty. On again. 52-yard attempt. He missed from 51 earlier. And that is blocked. Great pass by LSU up front and they get in the face of Anders Carlson for a block field goal would be my guess and he just came in blasting and was able to do that and now here's Kiner as LSU four. Johnson pointed to Boutte on the bottom of your screen instead he goes to the slot at the top and that's Besh and Besh is weaving his way for another first down to the 34-yard line. Fourth down, Kiner. Extra drive will move the chains. That's his teammates. See if they can get a stop on third and 16. Johnson from behind, taking a ball is out, and Deculus jumps on it. Auburn Tigers. Paid York on for his fourth field goal attempt this from 51 well struck and Cade York with a 51 yarder has now made 16 consecutive field goals Magic for Auburn what does he do trailing by nine now sets up the screen he does so to Hunter and Hunter is going to go ahead for 10 yards as he looks on with Bigsby now back on the field. Second and ten, Bo Nix. Bo Nix downfield. Great effort that time from Kobe Hudson for the completion. Second and five. Short pitch, Bigsby. Good seam and a first down for Auburn. He has been targeted eight times. Has over 100 yards receiving. Play action now. Nix 
he's going to run it. Makes a man miss and goes ahead for 12 yards and another first down. Final minute here of the third quarter, and Auburn is on the move. 11 yards there for Nix. Four. First play, fourth quarter. Pulls it. And then darts ahead, and they're going to have a first and goal with Bo Nix. And here is Nix into the end zone for an Auburn touchdown. What a way to start the fourth quarter. Got a few third downs here in this fourth quarter. Nix tucks, runs, dives ahead. Five Shivers on the backfield as he gets upfield and has the first down and then gives a little to McLaughlin. And then rushing by a wide margin. Hunter going to test the left side, and here goes the freshman, Jarquez Hunter. What do we have here? Auburn's on the go. Shivers again out of the backfield, and Shivers again will have a first down. In fact, it'll be first and goal. one, But Auburn is knocking on the door. And Hunter wants to burst right through it, and he does. The first lead of the game for Auburn. 33. Pick up the pressure. Quick strike over the middle. First down, LSU, Deion Smith. Max Johnson and LSU trying to stay alive late against Auburn. Across the middle, and it's intercepted. Knighton picks off Johnson. Nobody stays the same. And Bo Nix is a good example of that. Patrick, you can see him trying to contain emotion. He knows how much this means to his son, who was pulled a week ago, who has been on a career roller coaster ride. Three offensive coordinators in three years. A new staff that a week ago when he was struggling against Georgia State pulled him from the game only to see the backup come in and win it. Tonight, he comes back into the game in the second quarter and put on a show with fourth down magic, second half guts, and now a game ball he's holding on to dearly. Bo Nix comes on the road and beats LSU, something that no Auburn quarterback has done since 1999.